you came up from yourself. No matter how much you can try. Mm -hmm. The morning, the afternoon, y'all. Oh, my head is just snoring, snoring, snoring. What can you do when you are so full of pain and have been so abused that you are attracted to it? You have a pain body that uh, is comfortable with drama and this, this uh, transcends being black or being white. But as you most know, you from my clan, that if white people got a cold, black people got the AIDS, okay? Um, but one thing about being in America, it has affected all of us. Um, a lot of us want to spend a lot of time um, seeking knowledge that uh, lets us know how we got here. And I think that knowledge is very important. It's very important because you'll never know how you got here unless you study your past. However, what, whatever, what else comes with that is that you can't stay stuck there. Because if you stay stuck there, then it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, when you are lucky enough to have life or blessed enough to have life in general good or bad that's up to god that's up to god whether you come to some things you don't have no control over. you don't have no control of whether you come to birth in a white body or a black body it's some things you can't control you may want to be a part of the control group because you may feel you're wiser and you know that you begin at people and you know history. But that is not what our reality is, not what your reality is. And so when you spend a lot of time chasing things that really inhibit your growth, usually it comes from your program, something in the megala. You know, it's playing that drama, you get attracted to it. Some of these people that are attracted to abuse, um, and whether that abuse is, you know, is sociopathic. Again, whether that sociopath is in the White House or in your know, local politics, or whether that narcissist, sociopath is right here on YouTube. If you don't really have a spirit of discernment and you really don't know who you are and you really got family or origin problems and all that stuff, you gonna be extremely gullible to sharks. You know, and I call this being outside sometimes the shark infested waters, right? Um so what I'm saying all that to say. When I look at people, you know, and I, I, I want to do this without naming a bunch of names because you all know who they are. People in our community, whether the male or female, who have been a, accused and have been seen to have been lacking of integrity, things of that nature. The first thing that happens to me, I don't know about anybody else, is I start wondering, uh, no matter how much, is the, the one of the hardest things in the world for people to do is change. So what I start doing is right away, I start thinking about a person's background. I start thinking about how were they brought up? Um, what is, are their family of origin issues? What were the obstacles and hurdles that they had to overcome as a child and what kind of 
damage happened to their personalities in the psyche as they were children growing up in certain environments. And if you don't stay right there before you start giving people your money, you're going to be perpetual, perpetually miserable. And remember, Willie Lynch uh, prophesied this. He said, if you just do, and I know you said Willie Lynch was a fictional character. But just imagine, if you will, if you do all this stuff to these people, they will be perpetually miserable. Not just for 100, 200, forever. And that means white people will too because they have inflicted this craziness. Their families are not secure because of it. Our history is entwined with theirs. This is American history. All of us are enmeshed. Even though you may be mad at white people, he, your great-great-grandfather is probably white because he's, he raped your great-great-grandmother. So you got Irish blood all in you. I got freckles all over my face. I don't know if you can see them very well. Because that's me old Irish blood. <laughs> I mean, what? So it's, sometimes it seems real simple. And it's, but we have free will. So that's why I told you, in my opinion, it's like all this activity above the ocean. You got people who think they're so brilliant and they take you on these own trips and some people are so quote unquote conscious and they woke and, and, and they're pro black and they this and the other. But again, all this stuff is American history. All this shit stirred up in the pot in the a, a crazy gumbo that is structurally racist, sexist homophobic um, because the plan of some elitists was to keep us perpetually miserable and it's happening so when I go to my clan I look at how gullible we are I look like we could have people taking money I mean from Brother Polite Umar Johnson I don't even want to make any more videos because a lot of y'all out here right now is because of the video I made about Umar Johnson because I couldn't take no more. But I vowed I was never going to do that again because these scammers are out here and they have free will just like y'all have free will to give them your freaking money, right? You know, I told you I ran a group home, Ken Services. We were a direct service provider for the state of Wisconsin. You can check my record. You can see that we don't have a history of stealing money from the county or anything like that. And we were paid to provide services for children in my hood that were at risk. So when you see me up here talking about why don't you buy a t-shirt to support this mission, this mental health mission that I've been on for a long time. Then spot my life. Spot the record of what I say. Um, those things are important. So when I ask you to support by buying a t-shirt, you've, you've supported us in our mission to do what we do. And you've gotten something in return. And in return, we're thankful and grateful. And you wear it proudly. There's another channel where we sell puppies and if people are giving me deposits and expecting a, a puppy from the litter and sometimes it's months before the, the puppies are born if I was to keep their money and not to even give them a puppy do you imagine how my integrity would be damaged all throughout the community the, of, of that community that pet community can you imagine and the dominant society wouldn't accept that. They would blackball me. They would say, don't mess with her. Don't spend your... And, and nobody would mess with me either. Let me just say it. Let me just be honest. Nobody would fuck with me. But as, as black people with a pain body, we take all kinds of abuse. Whether it's from women, whether it's from men, whether it's from people selling us real estate, or from people that um, who are selling us hopes and dreams 
or uh, people that sell us to school or retreats. It's all the same. I don't have to mention them. And, but for you to think that you're not accountable, I will say this. If you think you're not accountable for the money you took from poor people, then life is going to show you different. And the law of karma, I'm going to tell you, they batting 100, sister. Brothers, you're not going to get away with your shit. And the thing about it, whether you Joel Osteen, this is what we do in America. So nobody has a conscience about whether they take your money or not. You have to have integrity. It, either you have it or you don't. When you don't have it, you get offended when people say stuff or question what happened with your money, with their money. Nobody has ever given me any, any money and they can't give an account for it. I think the craziest thing that ever happened to me on YouTube was I had a disgruntled cousin who begged me to buy a car and I let him test drive the car and um, I, I, I forgot I was reminded later on that this was a cousin of mine who had a severe drug problem he's a cousin of mine's son and I, I totally wasn't thinking about that and I didn't really think it mattered just so you know until his behavior got so bizarre concerning him. he damn near broke in my house to even to get the car so I, I left him uh, doors open. I'm, I'm switching the subject because I'm going to tell you how people can be. So I know people can be crazy. Um, and he said, no, no, I want the car, I want the car. Well, I had a certain amount on, on there or best offer. And then I said, as is. Because I had documentation of all the work I had done on the car and what the dealer recommended or, or whatever. And I gave him, made him aware of all this stuff. But he was all gung-ho and he now he went and bought jumper cables. But remember, he didn't pay for the car. He found somebody else to pay for it. One of his uncles, I think it was, or some relative of his that came from out of town. So that's why he was putting the rush on me. I let him drive the vehicle. It's not like I let him, I gave it to him sight unseen. He drove it for about 35, 45 minutes, came back. Um, and then um, I tried to call him and say, hey, you know, I didn't sign the title. Where are you? You know, he didn't care. I said, hey, I got an extra set of keys. Look, I don't need your signature. And he was like, real copy. And I was like, this dude. I, I said, I need my license plate back. Uh, he still didn't come back. Okay, so then, um, so I was a little frustrated, but I just let that go. So then a few days later, he comes back and says, you know, uh, you know, uh, something's wrong with this motor. And, you know, why don't you give me my money back or something. I was like, what? <laughs> Remember now, I got people calling me all day on Facebook, I mean on Craigslist to buy the vehicle. And because I'm not giving any money back. I'm like, what are you talking about? You bought the car as is. There's nothing wrong with no motor unless you did something to it because this is everything that's wrong with the vehicle and here's the paperwork. My, it, my car was immaculate when you bought it. You bought it because it was in such a fantastic shape. Um, and now you're talking crazy. I'm, I said, I'm not giving you any money back. Well, it's, you know, and what happened was that's when I wrote some, another relative told me, said, well, you know, he got a, he might be using drugs again. And he might have got somebody to pay for it, but he wants you to give him the money back so he can go on this spree. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. And that's not how he presented himself. What he did to disrespect me to make me just wash my hands of the whole thing. Not that I wasn't, because I tried to work it out for him. I was going well, Really put it back on Craigslist for him because now you're talking crazy because he was telling me he was going to take the car and just sell it junky for $300. He's got cotton, brand new Continental tires on there, a bowl system. Then he started talking about the car was a 2007 and I, I'm like, what? So what? My truck is a 2007. But I keep my shit in good condition. What are you talking about? I was like, you know what? I'm done with this ignorance. Because he became, he became a troll. And so I know that people can't be very ignorant. And so in my situation, I just said, well, look, I tell you what. If you keep on harassing me, then I'm going to go to the police station. Honestly. Y'all can, can call it whatever you want to. 
but you're going to stop harassing me. You're going to stop doing this Facebook thing because I don't do that. I don't play games like that. And so since you say I'm not your cousin, you don't know me and I ripped you off, please don't be on my Facebook page or on my YouTube page doing what you're doing because you're not going to get anywhere like that. Okay, that's a whole different story. He didn't give me the opportunity to work it out. He started calling me names, and since you want to disrespect me, I don't have no reason to even deal with this anymore. Because first of all, you're wrong. No, take me to court. No, that's totally different than somebody getting mad because people complained and went to Contact Six or whoever y'all call it, in whatever state you live in, Contact Harry or whatever, because a person won't respond to your quest for that money. And it happens. I get it. I get it. But you can't take that much money from people, promise them a retreat, and they get nothing in return. And then find out all this stuff on the back end. All that stuff is is lacks integrity. Umar Johnson with the stripper. All that stuff. And I'm not going to mention this any people. All this stuff lacks of integrity. And these are brilliant people. Um, but that's why I said knowledge by itself. For the sake of knowledge. It's just what it is. Wisdom. When you come up on that. There's certain things you won't do. And you'll stand your ground in honesty. But you won't be insulted. You won't take advantage of people's abuse. You won't be like the dominant society when it's convenient for you. And then jump in the black community and talk about you want to save them on one hand. It's all reeking of what Willie Lynch said again. They'll be perpetually miserable. There's nothing nobody can do about it. So me personally, I think once we understand that the more we clean out, like Eminem said, I got to clean out my closet. If you clean out your closet, you won't have no chance, no time to join, no organizations. You won't have no time because you're going to melt down like butter. Because see, what happens is we all run from the truth. That sick feeling you get in your stomach when somebody says something that, ooh, touches a nerve about your childhood, your family, your mother, your father. You know how you get mad? Some of y'all want to fight. Some of y'all even want to kill somebody. That's where your damage is. Let's just start right there. We don't even talk about, we ain't talking about the slaves or none of that. Let's just talk about right there in your family. Think about when somebody says something that might have happened to you. Or when you start talking about molestation or rape or being the black sheep of the family. What causes, what does it do to the inside of your body? Because if we all will concentrate on that first, all this other stuff will work itself out. And you won't be so gullible to look for somebody outside yourself to save you from yourself. Because you have a lot of answers about yourself, yourself. And you are the captain of your ship. Nobody else is. You are the captain of your own ship. Don't try to shirk your responsibility. It's a reason why you made it here. It's a reason. And you don't need me. You don't need uh, no other person on YouTube to try to tell you something that, that's, that's already innate, not in you. Okay? Just imagine yourself walking around in a dark room and you're looking for a light switch. And, uh, uh, you know, and once you turn the light switch on, uh, uh, you know, there, maybe I might say, hey, go to the left because I'm familiar with the room or whatever. And I go, hey, move your hand to the left a little bit because you blindfolded or you can't see it. And, and then you go and you switch the light and it comes on. The, the universe works for you as, as well as it works for me. No one can fix you but you. Nobody can make you feel good about yourself but you doing the work. And it's hard. It's a lonely road, too. 
But all he's looking for these gurus and these self-help and these real estate and these school people, man, taking advantage of y'all just like the larger society take advantage of us. It's time to stop. And y'all got to start using a better spirit of discernment. I don't know what the motive was behind the, the retreat. And it's not even important. What is important to me is um, we get a semblance of some kind of normalcy in our lives. And I contend it starts like Michael Jackson said. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. Y'all yeah. know it. You know it. That's where it starts. Do the work so you won't be so damn gullible. Please. Do the work. So you, these, you can reject these Joel Osteen's and these Cedric Daniels and these, the, what's her name? Barbara's sister, the white chick. You know, what's her name? Uh, Randy White's wife. All of them. All the way down to the ones that's right there in your community. Rumar Johnson. Brother Polite, you know, or whoever. Get a, get a sense about yourself. Okay? Because you just setting yourself for all these social paths to take total advantage of you. And with that being said, I know y'all, some of y'all mad at me, but that's all right. I really don't give a damn. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Right here. Right now. <laughs> In the middle.